pediatric death has been reported in North Texas this year among the dozens who have died here. Almost all of the patients had pre-existing high-risk health conditions. Still, though, several school districts have closed, including three Catholic schools, to try to stop the spread of the flu. Jennifer Lindgren shows us what you can do at home, plus what they're doing at St. Thomas Aquinas School today. In two words, deep cleaning. Take a look around the parking lot at St. Thomas Aquinas School. Pretty empty. No class here today. By the end of last week, 11% of students at this school and at Bishop Lynch High School were absent. Students at Bishop Lynch returned to school this morning. They had a four day weekend after a spike in flu cases last week touched a number of North Texas schools. Many St. Thomas Aquinas students have siblings that go to Bishop Lynch High School and Jesuit College Prep, so it's likely the illness spread through families. The superintendent for Catholic schools in the Dallas Diocese says when at least 10% of students are out sick, it's time to call the health department. During those periods, we go through, we make sure we're following sanitation protocol, they're wiping down every desk, they're wiping down all the doorknobs, they're making sure that everybody is going to be healthy when they come back. And the break also gives people a chance to make sure the virus can run its course so that they're not bringing infected kids back to school. Talking about what to do to prevent the spread of flu germs at home, we often think about wiping down countertops or changing out a toothbrush head. Don't forget about your winter gear either. Health experts say gloves, for example, can be a hotbed for germs. We should try to watch those at least every four weeks. Your scarf, which is up by your face and your hair, your mouth if you're coughing, try to wash that at least once a month. And don't forget a winter coat either. Try to wash that at least three times a season. Here at St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic School, kids will be back in class Tuesday morning. The school says that they will be monitoring absences. Hope this was enough time to bring those numbers down. In East Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.